Hello everybody, Backyard Boy in here and a warm welcome to you all joining me for another Precious Metal Ramble. So, we are going to have a look today at what dealers here in the UK, some of the big ones, are offering in terms of buyback prices for our precious metals. And I hope you'll have a good little bit of insight as to what you might expect if you're going to sell some of your stuff to a dealer. Now this is an inspired video by Silver Seeker. I want to give full credit to him and his series where he phones coin shops and asks them what they're buying and selling their gold and silver for. Now I am not able to record phone calls and publish them here in the UK. Our data protection laws are very different to the US. But I can at least compile some data from all of the big dealers out there. Now these are a selection of dealers that I have all used before. I have bought from them. I haven't necessarily sold to them before, but I have bought from them all before. And all of the data that is in this spreadsheet is all public data from their website. So I haven't had to ring them up to get the details. These are all just published information that you can find without too much of research. So it's kind of public data. I don't have a problem in sharing what those data points are for each company. And it does make for some interesting reading to see which companies are perhaps the better ones to go to. Now, what I will say is that you may experience different rates if you ring them. I don't know. If you've got an awful lot of things to sell, perhaps you'll have some leverage and you'll maybe get a better deal. I don't know is the honest answer. I haven't gone and rung every single one pretending to sell a whole bunch of gold and silver. But it's a good baseline, I think, and it's a good way to actually have a look and see what we can get as sellers of precious metals if we really needed to do that. So we've got five big players in the markets, plus one other up-and-coming player, which has been a channel sponsor before, Auronum, who's all green, as you can see on this side. Perhaps one of the better options out there for uh, selling some precious metals to. So we'll have a look at all of this information, but first I want to show you on their websites how you go about finding this information. So in no particular order, and none of these dealers have contacted me to make this video or sponsoring at all today. Um, it's just simply, here they are, let's have a look. And as I said, I've used most of these dealers before for my own purchasing. Now, we're going to start with Atkinson's. I will say that as I've been compiling this data over the course of the last few hours, of course, spot price will go up and down a little bit. I have basically averaged out to uh, the same numbers. If it was essentially the same spend percentage, you might see slightly different numbers on their websites right now as we're going through and having a look. But in Atkinson's website, you just go to the sell to us section. One thing that's quite annoying about the Atkinson's website is that they're all on different pages. So if you've got a whole range of things like I did, you have to go into each individual page and you have to find the individual one. It's great that on Atkinson's they have all of these different uh, things listed, like the different types of sovereigns and the different types of gold coins, but when essentially they're paying the same amount for all these sovereigns, it can be a bit confusing and a bit annoying. So that's where you go to on their website. Um, we've got the Bullion by Post website here, um, where you can go into their page and you can see kind of all of their generic prices for what they're looking to offer in terms of selling. Um, and then we've got uh, Chard's website here. So this one doesn't have as much of a comprehensive list. Uh, Chard's is one of the only ones I did a little bit more research on where I emailed um, out about some really kind of weird gold coins. So things like the Helvetia 20 francs and non-Royal Mint sovereigns and things like that. And I was a little bit shocked by the offer of 90% of spot price for that gold. Um, we've got 97% as a pretty standard price from them for um, just Krugerrands and stuff like that, which again seems a little bit low compared with some of the other dealers. But this one here really stood out to me as one of the lowest offerings out there. So it might be worth um, Chards having a, a look at what they're offering in terms of that. I think that's a pretty awful price point. Uh, I've traffic light systems these points here as well. So you can see that Charles generally are really quite good across the board. They've got 99% uh, of spot for gold Britannias and gold sovereigns. So future Backyard Bullion here, I was editing this video and I was thinking about some of the fractional Britannias and I had a quick look through on Chard's website and I was a little bit shocked actually to be honest about the price points that were being offered for half ounce, a quarter ounce and tenth ounce gold Britannias. So this 1570 here is essentially the same price as we saw in the, um, in the spreadsheet, it's just gone up a little bit in spot price. And when you do 757.52 times 2, you get 1515, that's an awful lot less than the spot price minus 1% offering that we were getting a second ago. In fact, it's pretty much 95% of spot price. And then it gets even worse with 376.78 times 4, 1507. 
and that is going to be divided by 15, 86.43, and we got 95% of the spot, not good at all. And to put that in context, I wanted to look at Atkinson's as well and see what they were offering for half ounce gold, and it's pretty much the same percentage as the one ounce golds. So I think that is quite interesting, and whilst we have here on our spreadsheet chards up there at the top, it is only for those one ounce gold Britannias, and there are some really, really low prices being offered for some of those fractional golds. Food for thought anyway, let's get on with the rest of the video. Uh, which is matched by Atkinson's, and both of them are the leaders in the sort of big boy market. We've got a slightly higher offering from uh, Aurornum, who, to be fair, is a smaller player, so has to be more competitive in some ways to compete with the big boys out there, but it's interesting at least that there are options. Um, then we go down the list to Baird & Co and Hatton Garden Metals, who offer less, but as you can see, Baird & Co have a great kind of 98% of spot price across the board for all gold, depending on, not depending on what it is at all, but there is a... Slight differentiation because there's no differentiation between capital gains tax exempt gold coins and none, which I find a bit odd, I suppose, for them. They're more of a refiner. Maybe they're just going to put everything in a melting pot. But um, I think there should be a distinction between Gold Britannias and Sovereigns and just your other general stuff. So I don't mind that, for example, Charles, 99% on those ones, 97% on uh, the Krugerrands. What I would say is Atkinson's are a little bit more competitive on uh, the non-specific gold stuff. Weird gold for them is sitting at about 97% of spot price. Um, so that I think makes interesting reading. Bullion by post offering out at some of the lowest numbers here. They're one of the biggest players in the market and they've got the kind of monopoly on top of all of the um, all of the sort of Google searches and stuff. They're often one of the top, top numbers in the search there. Little trick though, if you go, if you go to gold.co.uk, which is actually owned by the same company that owns Bullion by Post, it's a 97% across the board um, payment for all gold. So it kind of somewhat matches some of the other prices out there, but still a little bit lower than what you can expect. Um, Hatton Guard Metals are kind of across the board for their gold. It's average, it's nothing massively special. Um, they let the side down on the silver side of things though, which is a little bit sad. One thing that Chards is really good at though is buying silver, at least in the sense that they'll give you a decent price for it compared with other dealers. In my opinion, if you're selling a silver kilo bar at 576, you're shortchanging yourself a little bit as the second hand market will easily take that off your hands at 650 at the moment, perhaps maybe a little lower depending on where spot price is currently hovering, but you get my point. Um, so chards are paying over spot price for silver Britannias, but paying spot price on other generic bits of silver. Um, so for context, spot price when I was doing all of this, if we go, there we go, 17.95, we write that in that probably be a little bit more clearer so you can see that you're getting a, you know a good sort of one pound 80 more per ounce for your silver britannias than you would be for any generic silver um if we just put that in there as well um so 576 for a, a silver kilo bar they're outpacing atkinson's uh, and for actually baird and co and also hat guard metals um who are offering 94.2 percent of spot price for a kilo silver bar which it surprised me actually considering they're offering spot price on kind of generic silver bars and coins um and over spot price to match in fact i think there's a little price war going on so i've, I've as i said i've been matching things together based on what the spot price was at the time um and atkinson's were like six pence better than chards but i don't know whether that was because in the in the moment of me looking at the two pages there was a six pence difference in spot price i don't know but the point is they're roughly the same um bed and co not really a fan of silver by the looks of it they're probably there just to take as much as they can to melt down into silver bars um, they're offering 95 percent of spot for coins and a little bit less than that for uh, silver kilo bars. Hangard Metals performing worst of all on silver. I don't think they really care about silver and they just want to offer it out at the most basic price points possible. As you can see here, it's like 92% of spot, 90% of spot even for uh, some of the uh, generic silver stuff. Bullion by post, spot across the board for silver. It's not actually horrible. It's As you can see, they're tied with the, uh, the, the chards offering there for both bits of the generics and silver kilos, but again, you know, you can get better prices. As as you can see over here from Aronum, who's green across the board, offering £20.10 per ounce for Britannia's, £19.92 for generic silver, and £588.06 for a kilo. So I think that's quite interesting. I hope you guys have found that interesting too. And it certainly shows that you need to have a little look around. Uh, as I said, I haven't gone and done a full kind of 
rendition of every single dealer out there. There are a few dealers that I haven't included in this. It would just take me too long and the data would be too much to go through in one particular video. Um, there might well be other dealers out there that will offer similar prices. There might be shops, individual smaller shops like Aronum who can offer close to spot price. You don't have to just go with the big boys out there in the market. Now there are other benefits that I haven't really mentioned in this video that you might want to, for example, choose say chards over, I don't know, Hank Garden Metals, for example. And one of those main things that I've always liked from Shards is that they have a uh, secure sort of selling courier service. So they can arrange that, organize it with the insurance and get your gold to them without you having to worry about Royal Mail Special Delivery, insurance caps and limits and things like that, which I think is great. Um, Atkinson's, I don't know whether they have that kind of service. I'm not entirely sure that they do, but you've always got to factor in that you've got to get this gold to various different people. And it might be that Shards pay the most for certain bits but if you're in London do you really want to risk posting all of that uh, you know if you've got a couple of different gold pieces you might as well go into bed and co and get 98% of spot price because you'll end up actually probably better off in your pocket um, than having to post it all off to chards and you get your money straight away on that day so even though things might be a little bit less in terms of percentage um, it's very I think important to do your research and find where you can get your best prices from uh, the best prices, though, I will say, are going to be on somewhere like the Silver Forum, where you can get above all of these prices. I've seen at the moment, I should really have put a little column in here. So if we go Silver Forum, I will finish this off. Uh, that's annoying me. The uh, formatting is not the same. There we go. If I go Silver Forum, um, I've seen Gold Britannia's go for uh, 1600 right now. Let's call it. Oh, it's going to be the same thing. Let's go like that. And then a, uh, a Excel WizKid, I am... Uh, doing Excel live on YouTube. How amazing are we? I've seen Gold Britannia's at the moment go for 1600 on there. I've seen um, Sovereigns go for 385. Krugerrands and, and the like will be about spot price. Whoa, not 18. Let's go for 1585. Um, they'll go for around spot price at the moment. Weird Gold, spot price again. So if we just write spot. Silver Britannia's I've seen go for £22.50 an ounce over on the silver forum silver kilos as i said 650 you shouldn't really be taking money out of that at all and generic silver it depends on what it is what condition it is but let's call it 21 per ounce on the silver forum and those are the kind of prices that you should be expecting to get as a seller and those are the kind of prices that i personally would be looking to uh, put things up for if I was currently active on my selling um, selling side of things, the Backyard Bullion Buyers Club right now. Um, we're not active at the moment because I'm having a breather and a break and I'm enjoying it and loving it. But you can see straight off the bat that all of these are the best prices compared with any other, th any other dealer out there. Of course, the difference is you have to do the work yourself. You have to do that, find the customers, have somebody actually send you the money without being scammed and yeah, it's it's a lot of work. It can be. It's difficult as well. So worth looking at, worth seeing what are your options. I would love to know what you think down in the comment section. Have you experienced these kind of price points? Have you experienced anything worse? I think the thing that shocked me most was the chards offering of 90% of spot price for some bits of gold. And I would encourage, I know chards um, will be interested to find out what that comparison is with the rest um, but you know, 90% 90, 90 spot is, is not right. That, that's maybe either a mistake or it's just not right. But um, if you would like to share your thoughts, please do so down in that comment section. And don't forget to hit the like button if you've been watching all this time and you haven't smashed that like button. It would be great to hear from you down in the comment section as well. Uh, thank you to all my ramblers for listening to my tangential rambles about um, traffic lights on Excel and the live Excel incredible skills that I have. Do comment about those down in the comments so I know who in the Cool Kids Club has watched to the end of my video. Otherwise, that's it from me. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks all for watching. And as always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.